Why do you need to have three baggers? Beats me. 2014 actually was my first bagger that I got, which was a victory. Unbelievable. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> if you loved that bike so much, why did you end up getting the chopper? Out there were so asking if I was still doing my thing here. The holler? The yeah, year holler? The year holler. <laughs> Welcome back to the video, guys. We're here at the acclaimed Baggers MBS garage. Hence, Baggers, because this guy has three bikes. So, big congratulations to you, sir, on getting your third bagger. Not your third, like, hey, this is my third bike. Like, this guy literally has three baggers behind us. Um, he just recently bought. Just a few days ago, this 2023 Hardy Davidson Road Glide CBO thing is amazing. So, congrats, sir. Thank you, bro. Um, I would congrats if I'm hating, so. <laughs> <laughs> Peanut and producer Donnie in the building today, baby. Mild mannered Donnie, that is. Mild mannered Donnie? Yeah, because there's is nothing. That, is that where we're going by? There's that's, nothing that's mild mannered right? about him when he rides. Just okay. like his appearance, oh, okay. right? You when, look at him like, look, oh, what when the helmet guy? goes on, the whole personality changes. Dude, it's like yeah. Iron Man or some other. You're like, oh, what a, good, what a nice guy. Hey, and you talk to him, and then he gets on the bike, and you're like, who, nice. who was that? So why do you have three baggers? <laughs> uh, I love baggers. Um, so, <clears throat> 2018 was, 2014 actually was my first bagger that I got, which was a victory. I loved it. The machine performed unbelievably. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, fast forward to uh, 2019, 2018, I got a 2019 uh, that was coming out an Indian Chieftain, another bagger, I loved it, got rid of that because I loved it so much, but uh, I, I really wanted a Harley, long story short, I propelled into the Harley world, got wrapped up in that whole fiasco, I've had about five Harleys since then, uh, before, well, this, was, this would have been, this is the fifth one. Um, and I put so much time, work, and effort into it, and I, I, I just, I love everything about it. I mean, that, you've ridden it. And you're talking about your uh, 22 or 21? 21. 21. 21, 21 CVL. Roguelite CVL. It's such a good machine. It's so just complete the way I was able to put it together and the way everything came together um, that I love it. And I was, you know, that's what propelled me into the Challenger, which when Challenger, I knew that they had stepped up their game. I knew that they were awesome. I wanted to try something different. I which, said, which brings me to my next question. I was going to ask you, if you loved that bike so much, why did you end up getting the Challenger? Because I wanted to have the best of both worlds. Because everything is it's this big, you know, never-ending discussion about, oh, Indian's better than Harley, Harley's better than Indian, this big bag. You know what? I don't give a shit. I got both of them. I got both of them. So you know what? Whichever one's best, guess what? I got both of them. Okay. <laughs> so aggressive. <laughs> 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 Fucking Devo. It's like that. <laughs> America, yeah. two bikes or none. I mean, three bikes. <laughs> um, all right, so best of both worlds. I mean, I agree only on the bat. Um, I agree on you on that because the Challenger. I'm a huge fan of. You know, I know you, you love the Challenger. Um, you've been a fan of it for some time. Donnie, you like the Challenger or Challenger you're not a fan? Or what? I love the Challenger. It's that that I, I got to ride the Challenger, and uh, that's super impressive. Yeah, powers there, suspensions there, out of the gate. It's, it's a great bike. Can't it's what victory owners thought they had, but they didn't. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah, that's yeah, not yeah, a victory. Yeah. So for anybody who's going to say, hey, it's a victory, yeah, definitely I, not. I know that's coming in the comments. In the comments, they're like, well, they're both owned by Polaris. Speed-wise, yeah. speed it was it was a quick bike. I knew a couple of guys who had them. The high ball, the eight ball, whatever balls they had. <laughs> Pause. Um, they were all quick, but let's be honest, they were, nah. They were ugly. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they were, were ugly. ugly. Yeah. They lacked parts and development. No character. No, no character, character. And that yeah, was that was one of the reasons why I actually got rid of the victory. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Which one did you have? The cross country. But, so now, exactly because of what you're saying, when I ordered my victory, I ordered it, and the dealership that I got it on, I knew some people, so I was like, uh, comes with an 18 front, inch wheel, front wheel, I want a 21 on it. Which they did, they took it from another victory product, they ordered me the wheel. Oh, it comes with these bars? Nah, I can't have that. Bring it. So when I got it, when I picked it up from the dealership, it had a different front wheel with a different fender uh, to match it, the 
and I had the, the handlebars, some nice lights on it, a nice exhaust put on it to kind of make it my own. Again, I was limited when I could what I could do, but I didn't want a regular cross country. And everybody's like, oh, would you get a Magnum? I'm like, no, it's a cross country. So, it like a so, so here's the thing, um, going back to what I was saying. Polaris owns Indian, Polaris owned Victory. They axed out Victory in order to give Indian the spotlight. Um, it, Victory wasn't going anywhere. Right. To be honest. Right. It, it had been around for a while. It, it, was, it wasn't going anywhere. And, and, you know, what, what, what Indian is doing now, what they're developing, the type of motorcycles they're developing, technology they're packing into those motorcycles is great. You know, obviously it's given Harley a push, you know, and, and, and they're, they're finally waking up and they're like, listen, we got to upgrade what we're doing. Right. And that's the reason why this bike right here exists. 100%. You know? so 100%. It's, I mean, uh, I did a segment on my, on my channel a while ago where I said, which I still got to do that, the full video, but we could do it here with you. But that bike was first. That Challenger came out of that road glide because they wanted to compete. And now since Harley got the, the nudge and they, they got awakened, that's where this bike is out. If it wasn't for the Challenger, this bike wouldn't be out right now. Right. At all. Totally agree. It, it, it wouldn't be out. I don't care you know? what anybody says. I'm not saying they wouldn't have. They probably would have been one with a 119 next. You know, it, just, it's, just, just, it's just everything in general. Right, and they it, wouldn't have upgraded any of the suspension. No, no, it, it's, they wouldn't it's just have everything. They, 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 would, they would have kept doing this again for another year, you right. know, maybe, who knows how many or years. Slight, or a slight upgrade to that that would have been something that would have been minimal and come out with a whole new series of colors again like they usually do. But it's, it's, it's competition, and, and this, is, this is why competition is good because now you have more to choose from. You know, the, the, the buyer has more options, gets a better product, um, and it's, it, it's great for the culture, man. And, you know, person like you, person like, like us, who we're, we're a fan of both companies, um, it, it's great to see both of them just going back and forth, back and forth, going at it. Um, it's awesome, man. Absolutely. I challenge anybody who's a diehard Harley guy to ride a Challenger and then talk to me, right? And then get on the new CVO, because then you're going back on your machine, you're... Harley, right? That you. Which brings me to my next question because you love your 21 Rogue Light CBO. You fell in love with the Challenger, so you had a, you had to have both of them, best <clears> of both worlds. Right. What made you want to get the 23 model now? I want to have the best of all three worlds. <laughs> <laughs> we added another world here. There's three worlds in case anybody didn't know. No, I. Uh, Thanos over here, <laughs> collecting all the rings. I just need, a, I just need two more. <laughs> So no, I, I uh, after reading up on the heart, on the CVO and, and and I needed to know for myself, all right. And I've done just about everything I could to that. Listen, I could go into the swing arm with a few other things that I could do to it, big bore kit, whatever. But that's not really what I'm aiming for. Which I kind of want to do my swing arm. We I were talking about it Saturday, that's and definitely I'm like, something I would we spoke about prices and swing arms and everything. I'm like. Really? <laughs> because there, there's a few companies that were at the, who make them and they're super expensive, and there's some other companies that make a great product that are not as expensive. I'm like, correct. I think you got some companies that are going more for style. Yeah. They're both going to drop the weight, but you can see a huge difference in a thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars swing arm to a twenty-five, yeah. three thousand dollars swing arm. There's a lot of cosmetic work. Yeah. I'm not going to sit here and tell you which one is better, which one performs better, but. In essence, they're all going to do the same thing. Yeah. Can I Drop tell you? Away. But aesthetic is, yeah. is aesthetics is huge now. Huge. Can I tell you what I was going to go with on that one? Sure. A1. 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 $1,300. Bucks. $1,300. Bucks. And it, that's Looks my good. best bang for the buck. Looks good. But the, I know it's the, top quality. A1 racing uh, swing yes. line. But the Brock is, is around the, almost the same price, though. A little bit more. A little, a little they're, more they're similar. 15, they're they're pretty much a similar style. More, yeah. more function than style. So right. they want you to perform. They didn't really care about... Hey, I want to look like the coolest. Yeah, you don't want to look yeah, fancy. Yeah. But you want to perform. Correct. Nice. But that's what I actually like about this bike. Not that you're here. Because you did everything you're supposed to do before doing your big board kit. Right. We're so such in a rush sometimes to want more power and want the best looking bike. But you did suspension. You did the wheels. You did the <clears> brakes. <throat> I think your bike now is ready to step and get that board kit. Mm. So right. that's why I always like your build, especially. It's a clean build. It's probably one of the cleanest builds that I, that I could look at it all day. It's real clean. That paint job too, man. That, that, I mean, that the paint job on a bike, like the paint job on your bike, it's so clean you could do so much to it compared to like, let's say my bike where it's a lot going on. Two-tone bike, it's also chrome. It's like, it's hard to play with that. 
more so than yours. Right. You guys are, you know. That I mean, for me, that's a unique. It's a little color. bit easier for you that's guys. That's a unique color. I love that. I love that gray that you have. Thank you. That battleship gray. So we love each other's bikes. We do. <laughs> you feel like we should be having a glass of wine. <laughs> Donnie's like. <laughs> Donnie's like. He's like, I only got a black bike. That's yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> hey, so, wrong with so black bike. what you were saying, which is exactly why I call him mild mannered Donnie, to touch on the subject where. <clears throat> So you don't need to have all this stuff done to your bike to disappear from somebody. If you know how to ride the bike the right way, right? Donnie's got shocks. Probably the best shocks around, or some of the best, Wilbur's, right? Wilbur's, well, yes. funny. And that's, that's, a, that's a company I wish I'd He's one of the nice. few people that I will chase. And, and he, I mean, you've seen him ride. Mm -hmm. Shit. And if I saw you chasing me, you wouldn't catch me either. Well, listen. <laughs> that's <laughs> why. <laughs> <Who's that? laughs> Holy shit. That guy. <laughs> I think it's good, intimidation good and performance. Right. So, it's a little yeah. bit of both. <laughs> so get, the, get the best, best, best of all four worlds. It's fight or flight right there. We're just going to keep, yeah, keep increasing here. Definitely, uh, you know, the way you ride your bike is... So yeah. like that's why I don't, you don't need a big board. No. You, you could do it. Can't, listen, anybody can squeeze it, can roll on the throttle in, in a straight line. And be the fastest. Well, think about the conversations about King of the Baggers. When they first came out, what was the one of the biggest things you heard? Why would you race a 900 pound yeah, bike? Yeah. Right. Does it doesn't have to be 900 pounds anymore. No. With all these great companies coming out with you know, the carbon and figuring out ways to lighten the bikes up, you already have an advantage with suspension brakes and a lighter bike. And why not? Because well, we're going to When, when, when I talk to people about that, and they're like, well, why are they racing these big bikes? I'm like, why not? Because right. it's cool. <laughs> like, why not? Right. It's why cool. Not? Why not? You know, because it's not because you're they're not supposed to. That's why. You it's wanna, just you break the rules. The limit. You know, you yeah. want whatever you have. You want to take it to the limit. That's right. all. Yeah. Absolutely. And I agree. Well, who says you're not supposed to do this? I mean, listen. In today's society, there's a lot of shit. Who says you're not supposed <laughs> to have three baggers? Exactly. You See know what I'm saying? You know, I, I, I had three bikes at one time. I had a road glide and a, and a Dynan FXR, but this guy has three baggers. Right. Who says you can't have three baggers? Why? Listen, I, like I said, we're living in an age where, you know what, everything's like, oh, don't do this, don't do that, do this, do that, and it's like complete opposites. You know what? I'm going to do what I want to do. I want three baggers. I want, you know, it is what it is. I have my reasons, like I'm explaining to you guys. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you want to race a 900-pound machine? Race it. Yeah. It is what it is. You don't have to, why do you have to be on a, on a sport bike to, to rip, uh, you know, some corners? So you, you always hear that too, real quick. Sorry to cut you off. No, 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 no. Um, oh, if I had my R6 or if I had my, well, I'm not, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I didn't, I'm not building this bike yeah. to compete against Ducati and BMW and They're still small. Yamaha and They're, Suzuki. My R6 will beat it. You know what? You have a 400 pound <laughs> bike doing 200 miles an hour. It's cool. I, yeah. I, I got I'll, 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 I'll pass on that bike in second place. Happy I, all day. I, That's I, it. And have my jacket and my sandwich and my bottle of wine <laughs> and my cigars in wine the bags. Nice. Yeah, right. Or I like hearing, who's that guy in the Harley? He's crazy. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. How is he keeping up with us? I, yeah. I love to get those comments. <clears throat> I get them on a weekly basis. Like, oh, dude, my R6 is faster. My R1 is what I do. I, how can you compare an R a sport bike to a? Like what? You're comparing apples to oranges. It's, yeah. not, it's not even in the same ballpark. Um, if, if you if you had to pick three things that 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 make these three bikes different, that kind of attract you, or the reasons why you want to have each and every one of them, or what, what do you think will be it? Um, or I'll, I'll make it simpler for you. Well, what is one thing that this bike that makes it special compared to this bike and then that bike? How, how are they so different? Blood, sweat, and tears in this one. Okay. So right off the bat, that one's got my heart because of all the work time, thinking, back and forth. I mean, it's, it went through, if, if you were to go back, it went through like two, three different transformations. I got a 14 inch bars delivered from Florida. Then I went with 12 inch stainless bars with a stainless jackpot exhaust. Yeah. And I had the stock wheels on it, which people like, they loved it everywhere I went. Oh, it looks great. Then from there, I you know, started going with the Kraus and changing up, putting the thrashing supply, started working on the cam, just, you know, making it look a little bit more sleek, a little bit more lean and mean. So you just have like a soul collection to Yeah, connection. yeah, without a doubt. All right, and the Challenger? The Challenger... Like, well, what, what makes that bike so special so for you? So the Challenger came as a surprise because I, although I, I, I was telling Peanut before, I wasn't a fan of it initially when it first came out. It wasn't so much the look. I just wasn't a fan because... I was like, ah, I'm like, what are they trying to do here? You know what I mean? I couldn't, I can't say they were trying to copy them because to me it didn't look 
anything like a road glide. Mm-hmm. But I was like okay with them making a, a similar bike because I'm like, but I'm like, what is the goal here? You know, I know it is to. Is it really going to compete? Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, once I rode one, that's when I was like, you know what? I could see myself having one of those. And as more stuff came out for them, and as they developed and evolved a little bit more in terms of like the colors and and then like more parts coming out i started saying to myself you know what i'm getting one and i'm gonna build it and i'm gonna do a performance bagger so what is it about that bike exactly that kind of makes this special now the look the look the way it handles the way it rides out of the box stock can't beat it okay and then this one well i mean i know you just got this like maybe three days ago yeah but come and come the new cvo so now this thing, I rode it and there was some Challenger-esque feeling to it in terms of the handling is on point. It feels really good. I'm not saying it's better than the Challenger or equivalent, but it's very good feeling out of the box. Like this is what I feel like that should have felt like when I first got that in 2020. Yeah. That should have felt, that, that, that 21 CVO should have felt like this felt the other night when I picked this up. When we went riding the other day, Donnie, I should have been able to be like th- I should have been able to. The way that felt is how the way that felt is how that should have felt back then. Um, just quality. Wise. It's just quality. It's super refined. The Harley. Um, the Harley. Yeah. Yes. The, the, the when when twenty three. When Rich got the Indian, we picked it up from Get Lowered, and um, we met there, rode it back. That was your first ride, I think, yeah. after the pipe got put on. And then this past weekend was our first ride on on the Harley on CBO. And well, it rained, so we, we went to get lowered. We got halfway home, it rained, and then it cleared up. We rode the rest of the way home. And Rich loved the bike, but he's a big butt. We rode on Saturday with 150, 200 miles, and all I heard was, I love this bike. Yeah. The CVO is amazing. Like, kept, and, and I kept thinking, like, wow, he didn't have that reaction when we rode the Indian home. Right. And I remember that. That was like, I didn't say it until just now. Yeah. But, there was a, a huge reaction after riding the Harley, the CBO. Not as big of a reaction after the first ride yeah, up. You're right. You're from right. The Indian. You know, that was, it, it struck me. And, and, and that goes back to what he was saying. So it's just this bike, the new CBO just feels premium. Yeah. W- without a yeah. doubt. It looks premium and it feels premium and the ride of it. Quality, it's great. To be honest with you, and, and a big part of that, what he's saying, I was shocked. Like, I was pleasantly shocked, pleasantly surprised. You didn't think that it was going to be as good? I didn't think it was going to be as good. Again, and, and, and if, if you go, if anybody follows me and you look at my video, you'll see that in my last, my, you know, uh, first impressions was very much, there's no way that this is the same frame stuffed with electronics and a motor. No. There's no way. Like, to me, that just, like, I don't It feels I, more refined. I mean, the, 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 the VVT plays a big part of it. Because it, it's it uh, runs smoother. It runs smoother. Doesn't vibrate as much. Right. Um, power the, wise, it gives the, it more the, power. The power delivery of how everything is is just phenomenal. But so it's, I, it's premium. But even the handling. I mean, like even taking turns. I mean, we took some sweepers that well. I mean, the bike is. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, I mean, like over 100 miles an hour, and I was like, there was allegedly. There was none of that. I mean, we were out of the country, so it didn't matter. We were in Mexico. Yeah. Mexico. Yeah. 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 No, there were no complaints. Like, when we got there, <coughs> there were no complaints. Like, I need suspension. Uh, it doesn't handle good. There was nothing. It was like, like I called raving him to, about how great I the bike handled. I called him to rave yeah. about it. Yeah. The whole time. I was you know? like, all right, so it needs nothing. You can, you can ride it stop. Yeah. So yeah. I'm That's sure the, it's going to remain stop because of that. Uh, for a little bit. They never say stop. 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. He inverted front end on it, right? That It makes that much of a difference. That Everybody. Why would you spend that kind of money on suspension? I mean, I know these big brand companies, you're paying a lot of money because you're getting the Olin's attached to it, but... I'm not even looking to No, that just that. the inverted stock suspension is... Uh, I've heard nothing but like, great things about that it. That front end right now, there was no dive. Like, I'm 300 pounds, I was hitting the brakes, and there was no major dive, like the front end diving down, like like some of the other bikes did, like, when, like that did when it was stock. Um, there was no... Just the overall balance of the bike, the, picking it up off the side stand, just felt fantastic. I mean, and even the grips, like everything, just felt it, it felt way more refined. Like I said, in comparison with that, if they if those two were new right now, again, not to say that that's junk. Wait, right? no, 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 hold on, because that before you, that was, I was, was going to do my my final question for you is, 
If you had to line all these up yeah. in a row, yeah. first place, second place, third place, what are we looking at? What are we going to talk? Are we talking emotionally or just performance overall? Everything overall. All right, if you had to get rid of one, which one would you get rid of? What is it? Uh, fuck one, marry one. Uh, yeah. Marry one, date one, kill one or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just see the CVO is staying. The 23 CVO is staying because... So you're marrying you, that one? I'm marrying that one because the CVO, when that thing is tuned and they come out with parts for it, my opinion is it's going to be a monster. Which one are you dating then? Uh, the Challenger. So you're killing the, the 21 CVO? Wait, you're going to get rid of your blood, sweat, and tear? I'm not going to... Everything that bike listen, did for him emotionally, you're just going to throw it away? No. You're I'm gonna, heartless, bro. Oh, man. <laughs> Who's that guy? Be a man? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, CBO. What's, Be your, a man. what's your favorite bike? Light it on fire. Be a Be man. man. <laughs> so, you know. It yeah, makes, it yeah. Makes sense. It's, uh, that's pretty much where I'm at. You know? I mean, so, it's, it says a lot when, when, when you're having these three baggers lined up behind you and you're, and you're putting them in that, that type of category. And yeah, man. I, I mean, that's, It says a lot. It's, 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 for me, you know, from, let, let's, I mean, even <clears> from <throat> any outsider looking in right now, you're, you're, you're telling them, hey, like, this is far way superior than it's. It's predecessor, you know? It's got a ton of money into it, by the way. Yeah. You know, so. But well, all that ton of money that's in that in order to make it go that fast, to feel that good. Yep. Get that from factor on this. Right. Right. Exactly. Let that sink in real quick. Um, if you guys have any further questions, drop them down below. Why do you need to have three baggers? Beats me. <laughs> this guy has it. Um, which one is your favorite? Gun in your head right now. Gun to my head? That, that, honestly, I, I know it's cliche, but it's, it's hard to pick. Just because... It's so cliche. I'm obviously going to go with the CVO, the 23. Just because of the technology and it's the newer bike and you can do more to it from the box. You don't have to spend... Even if you put the price tag of the old CVO at a used price <laughs> sale and then did all the work to it, it's still going to be more expensive than the CVO. So even though the CVO is forty-four grand, you're probably paying stock CVO thirty and change for the older one, and then dumping another twenty grand into it just to make it like the newer, like one. The newer one. So I mean, the obvious choice for me would be the CVO, but I really like the one that treated him well his whole life. If she needs somewhere to go, I'll be the guy to watch her. So this guy basically left his wife for the side chick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Donnie? I'm going, well, I'm going with the CVO, the new CVO. But what Peanuts just said, factoring in the money, you're paying a premium for it over the Indian. So if you throw the money into the equation, which I think is very valid for most people, it's a hard, hard sell, the CVO for me. So I'm 50-50 I'm Indian. CVO. But Challenger in the CVO and uh, 23? The, yeah. Oh, so you're probably, right there in the middle. I'm in the middle. Gun to my head, I'm taking the CVO. All right. And paying Can I throw a curveball? The new Elite. <sighs> oh, bro. All, all for that. anybody who hasn't seen that I'm yet, just, I'm just glad they didn't look it up. <laughs> watch well, his channel. Or or other watch the video. video. And <laughs> and um, yeah, that's a hard stuff. That's a tough one right there. That's, yeah. a, that's a beautiful bike. That's, but what I like just is... To, just to show you what, 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 uh, what a damn paint job does. Because it looks beautiful. Yeah, and, what, and a few little things here You guys are the Indian experts. I haven't really looked into On the it. Lee, it's just paint job and finish on the, the on inside bearing where some stuff are, are lost now. Yeah. Um, some components. So but I love what's going on with it's the paint job. The, you know, Lloyd's has an amazing show going on there. Um, Rich, the whole journey is, is great because you know, he calls me up and he's like, hey, I got this. <laughs> This guy making custom products in North Carolina, and, and he's going to send me something. And so there's so many, there's so much ingenuity, you know, and, and design and uh, going on right now with both these bikes. Yeah, and, and you know, I can't wait excited. to see what the next year or two brings. It's I can't wait to see by even by the summertime. Yeah, we're what uh, November right now. Yeah. I'm pretty sure by the summertime there's going to be a ton of parts for the brand new CBO and even a ton more parts for <clears throat> the uh, the Challenger. It's going to be great. That's gonna be it, guys. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed today's little discussion we have right here. Um, drop your thoughts and your comments down below if you wanna go ahead and follow Rich on his channel, Baggers on BS. Uh, I'm gonna be linking his 
uh, link down below so you guys could follow his channel, Instagram, whatever you want. And if you're not yet following me, well, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. It's gonna be it. I'm gonna sit here and look at these three baggers. Peace. <laughs> Man, I'm glad nobody asked me about the elite. <laughs>